What's up everybody, it's the Warrior of Light. Continuing on where I left off with Final Fantasy 1, the Pixel Remaster on Steam. Attempted to get 100% Steam achievements. And as I said, I did a little bit of grinding off camera. Uh, so nobody had to endure through that. And I can't remember where I left off. I think I only gained... You know, I gotta be honest, I don't remember what level I left off at. I'd have to go back and check. I think it was level 17, so I didn't gain a lot. But now we're all level... Well, 21 for Alamir and then 20, 20, 20. Um, we are going to continue. Actually, I'm going to buy a couple more antidotes because I have to go back into the Marsh Cave because we now have the Mystic Key and there's some stuff in there that we couldn't get before. But now we're going to go back and... It's actually... Ooh, 11? I think we're, we're, we're probably good, and plenty of cottages, plenty of tents. Let's just do it. We don't need any more antidotes than what we got. That should be more than enough. Alright. Back, well first before we go to the marsh cave. Oh! That was ghast. I don't think I've killed a ghast yet. Yes, that was a new B-Siri entry. Cool. Alright. And then it reminded me to mark a couple off, uh, a couple other ones off, like Astos and the Pisco Demons. Let me fix something here, because I, while I was grinding, I had Continue Auto Battle on. Let's turn that back off, so that I'm in control of the battles, because that'll be important in the Marsh Cave. You do not want to Auto Battle your way through that place. Nice. Preemptive strike. Love it. And we're doing big boy damage now, up in the 200s. He might be a little over leveled, but that's okay. Because uh, that gets reversed pretty quick in this game. You think you're over leveled, but then you get to the next dungeon and you realize oh, I'm actually not that over leveled. And now Zoe's 21. So I got... 21, 20, 21, 20. Alright. And I think... I, nope. Not that way. Okay, there's no encounters in the Western Keep. So it doesn't really matter. I don't have to be so careful about making the least amount of turns. I think one of these does have a monster encounter. Ah, there it is. Hey. Wraith. And we got a preemptive strike. That's awesome. I'm actually going to fire up all of these. This might even be enough to kill them all. Yep. Boom. Too easy. And that takes wraiths off the list. Such a difficult word to say in English. And got the Falcon, which I think might be... I mean, it's something he could have, but not not very good. And if it's not good for him, it ain't going to be good for him either. So we will continue with more monsters. Mummies. Also, something that I can cross off the list now. Working towards that 100% bestiary completion. Power staff. Nice. Well, actually, let me check what the power staff does real quick. A staff with good attack power. That's it. Okay. That's not very helpful. <laughs> A sword that widen towards, widens towards the tip. That's also not super helpful. So the power staff actually does help him a little bit. Lowers accuracy, but increases attack power. I don't know if that's enough to really... 
Well, the game says optimal. I'm gonna go with what the game says. And again, more monsters. Mummies again. That hammer's like a machine gun going off. Steel gloves. This is probably the best for Kalamir. Awesome. And that is it. We never have to come back to the Western Keep again. That is another dungeon that is complete. As far as treasures goes, because that's another achievement on the Steam version is opening 100% of the treasures. I can't remember what the first part of this game is that you get one of the weapons that actually cast magic. Those are super helpful. Alright, we're just ripping through enemies now. Wait, can I just... Oh, you can't save anywhere on this one, by the way. You do have to do it on the world map. I think there was a version you could, but uh, it's not this one. We oh, have a lot of files. Okay. And everything on B2 to the north we got. Ba the basement floor number two up north. We're good. We need to go south. And it's the three doors on the bottom floor that we couldn't open last time we were here that we're going to open before we move on. Paralyzed, but doesn't matter. to hit before we even touch him. Perfect. Oh wait, yeah. Let's use magic first before we use our items. We have a decent amount of gill now, too. So when it comes time to go to the next town, I should be able to buy all the spell and armor upgrades that are available. The most hefty one should be the knight's armor. I'm like, hmm, should I fight this one? Oh yeah, we have Thundara now. Why not? Oh. Oh. Hello. We don't even need magic anymore. Looks like our attack is high enough to just wipe out those gray oozes without anything. What am I doing? There we go. Alright, so here's the first one. I 
again. I think we should probably... new. I remember this little guy. I don't think this was a part of the NES version, or the PSP, or the PS... There usually is a monster there, but... Um, it's hidden. Usually you're not able to see that there's a monster there. Ooh, 100... These Pisco Demons are still doing a lot. A thousand gil, though. It's kind of worth it. If I remember correctly... Maybe this is just the PlayStation version, but... I thought if you stepped... Oh, well, there's monsters inside. Anacondas. That is another one crossed off the list. Monster number 36, Anacondas. So I'm assuming they're probably somewhat difficult. There's a Blizzard. Those are reptiles, so they probably don't like Blizzard. If they have a weakness to anything, it's probably ice magic. Being stabbed several times is also a big weakness of many monsters I have found in this game. We do not like being stabbed repeatedly. We should get some kind of amulet armlet from this chest, like a silver, yep, silver armlet. And equip that to... Not you? Ah, yes. Why did he... Oh. Right, it's the body. That's weird. It's an armlet, but it's for the body. Okay. Shouldn't have to heal after that fight. That really wasn't that crazy. I think the hammer should do more damage to the ooze than the sword. Because you could, like, I don't know, flatten it or whatever. Anybody remember the old Disney show from Gargoyles? Or the Disney show from Gargoyles. The Gargoyles show on Disney. I had like a VHS that had a game that was like part of the movie that you would play after it. I'll go ahead and use Blizzara. This is going to be our most difficult battle in here, I think. Well, blast him with my strongest magic. Wow, that did next to nothing. Oh shoot! I was gonna... I realized I had it on auto battle. I was like, oh, I was gonna use it again. I can't complain. All that for an antidote. Wow. It's really disappointing. I like how the screen fades in this version. The little pixel cubes come crashing down. It's a nice little added touch. Oh, there's nothing in this one. Scorpions, let's do it. All 
Alright, this should be the most difficult fight in here, so let's... Fully heal up. Get ready to do this. Ugh, should I fight these guys? Okay, that, that worked out pretty good. Okay, not that great. How many potions do I have? Four. I thought I had more than that. Monsters! Let's go demons again. The okay, blizzard didn't seem to do anything. I'm gonna go with fire this time. I like how the white mage is always giving the enemy the bird every time <laughs> she casts a spell. Like, watch this. Man, okay, they're a little resistant to magic, it seems. Thousand gil. Is that another treasure chest I never opened? I missed a treasure chest. Wow. That would have been frustrating later on. Makes me want to check all the other ones. Finally done with the Marsh Cave, and we can move on to the next town. Oh, we're still doing, like, nothing to these guys, though. Oh, wait. What? This must be critical hits. But well, there's something special about that staff and that sword. My favorite enemy, Scorpions. I should say once we're done with the marsh cave we'd never see them again, but that's that's not the case. There's like different versions of them in different parts of this game. Zombies and ghouls. Super easy. Let's move on. There we go. Yay! Never have to go to the Marsh Cape again. I believe I completed every single part of the bestiary that is associated with the Marsh Cave, so we shouldn't ever be going there again. That's another place marked off our map for the rest of this game. 
I feel like once you finish the Earth dungeon, the game starts moving very quickly. I'll rest at the end here. Ah, I hate that it starts on no. Why would I come up to the counter if it wasn't to stay the night? It should just be on yes. Obviously, I'm sleeping the night. Another interesting fact about this game, a lot of the monsters were taken from, like, the Dungeons and Dragons monster manual. Um, I don't know if it was, like, the first edition of that book or whatnot, but a lot of the monsters in this game actually come straight out of that manual. We're done with everything, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything else we need to be doing on this side of the ocean. Sahagans and two Sahagan Chiefs. Man, what Final Fantasy games do you fight nine enemies in one battle? Too many encounters like that in 13? Because 13 has a couple battles where you fight quite a lot of things, but nine things at once? In all the games I can think of, it feels like the odds are always kind of stacked in your favor. I didn't realize it was that close. I thought it was further out. It's like right on top of that thing. I thought there was a bunch of ocean between the canal and this town. Maybe that was a change they made in the, the origins. I don't remember this all being connected. But I guess it is. So this is Melmond. This town's like absolutely decrepit. Gravestones all over the place. Apparently it's because they're being beat up by a vampire. Restore the crystals to grace. I think some of you even complained about it. If the earth crystal regains its glow, life will return to the earth. The hills and valleys will again be green. Stop by my father's shop, okay? I'm just a farmer. Restore the crystals to grace. In the cave on the southern tip of this continent lives a man named Sada. He is a wise man who knows much. What's is my name. I've come all the way from Durgar to find out the spring hide of the earth's decay. Spring hide of earth's decay. I don't know what that means. I've heard the ancients possess something with the power to make ships float in the sky. That's another reference to the floating dungeon we'll do later. Long ago, a prosperous civilization thrived in the Northland. Now it's fallen into ruin. So this right here is a church that we can't use, so there's actually no way to revive ourselves in this town if we die in the Earth Cave. We're just kind of out of luck. The vampire attack, destroying our church and leaving our city in shambles. Is there nothing we could do to stop the ruination of the Earth? So that's that vampire we're going to go take care of here real soon. The Cavern of Earth is to the south of Melmend on a peninsula called the Devil's Tail. It used to be the closer you got to that cave, the more fertile the soil. Now, now it's a barren waste. The Earth is decaying, and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the Cavern of Earth. Our town is in such rotten shape because he's blocking the flow. Oh, I missed that part. Will you stop him for us? Absolutely. The giant living in the cave eats rocks. He'll eat just about any kind of rock, but I hear he especially likes gems. He can't get enough of them. 
Uh, there is nothing I, the great genius Dr. Une, do not know. What? Never heard of me. Inconceivable. That's a Princess Bride reference, if you got that. Later, we have to come find this guy, because he's going to help us continue on, but right now he's kind of useless to us. Welcome. So this is the famed knight armor that will leave me all but broke if I buy it right now. Um, but my rule of thumb is to always take care of the weaker members first, because the warrior can take a beating. So I'm not worried about him right now. We're going to equip everybody else. They're the ones that need it. And we'll go get weapons. Defense is something the warrior is not in short supply of. So let's, let's beef up our attacks first. This is a regular longsword. That's better than what I have? That's ridiculous. I'll take it. Nah! Ha! <laughs> It only increases my attack by one, but accuracy? Ooh. I don't know if that's better. So I lose five points in accuracy, but only gain one in attack. I honestly don't think that's better, because of the way that this game works, is accuracy will help you get more strikes in I might... Let me see what the game says. Optimal. This is longsword, but I think it's just looking at... Not max damage, but... Max attack. Uh, whatever. We'll just, we'll just keep it. Life! We can finally learn life! So I guess it's not that big of a deal that the church is not working, because... Uh, we can learn life now. And Kuraga. And Hila Hilara. Hila Hilara. Hilara. I don't know however you want to pronounce it. So we got all the white mage's spells. The black mage's spells are a little different here, I think. I don't think he's actually able to equip all of these. Of course he can't learn teleport. Ugh. It'd be like the most useful thing he could learn. Slora is worth it. Fyraga is totally worth it. Scourge... I don't... Hmm, I've never really used Scourge. But I feel like Teleport would be more useful. But he can't learn it. But he can learn Scourge. I'm gonna pass on that for now. And now I don't have enough for the Knight's Armor, which is fine. And we should probably hit up the inn? I don't know, we look pretty good. Like spells and everything. Uh, how much is it? Oh, that's not that bad. 100 gil. That's nothing. Okay. Just wanted to be in the ship for a couple seconds. So we could go left. But there's nothing there for us right now. It would, uh... It would, would, the rock golem would just be blocking the path. So, we won't go left yet. We are going to go south. Into the Earth Dungeon. Oh, wait. Oops. Did I already go too far south? Hold on. Yeah. Oh, there he is. He's blocking the cave. So we can't go that way. I'm... Oh, there we go. I missed it. This map feels shorter for some reason. I think it's because I've played the PlayStation and the mobile version most recently. And so this one feels... 
um, super tight. Maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the map looks slightly different. I bet there is some kind of difference. I wouldn't be saying this for no reason. I have a good memory when it comes to this game because I've played it so many times. Not the, the NES version is probably the one version I've played the least of, and this is a pixel remaster of that version, so that would make sense. So this dungeon's kind of a pain, especially because we can't use teleport for the Black Mage, and we don't have emergency exits in this version for some reason. That's a nice little added effect. Of the earth. So, interesting thing about this cave, uh, just to the left of us, you can see... Um, actually, hey... You guys can see my mouse, can't you? So if you go up this way, this just connects and comes all the way back around up here. But if you go on the far left side, this is a notorious hallway called the Hall of Giants. And literally every step you take on a certain part of that is you're going to get in a battle with a bunch of hill giguses, which I don't want to do. So we're not going to go that way. So I don't have to fight a bunch of them. Instead... We're going to go up here, because there is a treasure chest up here. Tarantulas. Ooh. Nice. That made that fight really easy. Ah. Minotaur. This is a new enemy. So we can mark the Minotaur. The Minotaur off. And... Monsters. Ah, I remember the Earth Elemental. Let's make sure our magic user stays alive. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. And I'll mark Earth Elemental off our list. Did we get a preemptive strike? Yard. It's a decent amount of gill. Uh, not enough to get our knight's armor, but that's okay. One thing I do like, I don't know if they fixed this or if this was in the original Ness, but it looks like... I believe in the PS Origins version, PlayStation version. Every time you stepped in front of one of those treasure chests, you got in a fight with the Earth Elemental. I like that this one has updated it to where it doesn't thrust you into a battle uh, just for stepping in front of the treasure chest, but you're actually opening it is what triggers the fight, just in case you accidentally walk right back into it again. That would suck. And it has happened to me. So we're going to go down this way for another treasure chest. Black Widows are the easy ones. Oh, that sounds so creepy. I actually just had a bug terminator come today and spray our house because the spiders out here are crazy right now. Uh, I was even talking to the pest control guy and he was, he was telling me like this time of year, I don't know why, but everybody is getting swarmed with spiders. I literally stepped into my yard the other day and I saw them, like, scatter. There's some people in different parts of the world that would, like, freak them out, but, like, I've gotten so used to seeing so many of them in the yard. But I literally took one step, and it was just... I could see them crawling on the ground. It was pretty disgusting. And then, of course, the Daddy Long Legs were trying to... I, th I think it was a bunch of common house spiders, and then the daddy long legs were trying to eat them all up as they were fleeing from my feet. So I think this chest has monsters in it. Yep. Oh no, ambushed. This guy does massive damage. That sucks. I think we're all just gonna attack, though. See, look at that. Look how much more the thief is doing than the warrior. And it's just because of accuracy. 
Which makes me think I need to switch swords. I mean, it's a 2% difference, but... What's the, what's the thief's 60%? Yeah, that accuracy is... A, better, better attack on the warrior, but accuracy in this game changes uh, the way damage is dealt. For some reason, my thief is taking all the damage right now. Gotta enjoy those preemptive strikes, they don't come around often. Now we're gonna follow this right wall down here to another treasure chest. A secret that I've always... Uh, not a secret, I guess, a strategy I've always followed when in a dungeon I'm unfamiliar with. This one I'm kind of familiar with, but in ones that I'm not, is that I always follow the right wall. So if you're stuck, and can't get out of a place, you just continually follow the right wall and eventually you'll find your way out of the dungeon. Dude, Clive, you are killing it. Dude, the thief is like, absolutely destroying everything. He's doing like twice as much damage as the warrior. Dude. I'm sorry. I'm sold on the thief, man. I keep seeing everybody on Twitch using the monk, but the thief, I feel like it's just making a lot more sense right now. Not to mention his disco moves every time we win a battle. Look, the monk doesn't do that. It's beautiful. So we just follow the right wall and it'll eventually lead us exactly where we need to go. Cobras that we fought? Cobras? I guess we have. I don't remember. I like how little damage they're doing. I mean, they poison one of my characters, but that's not that big of a deal. We'll fix that. Right meow and move along. So we're gonna take this way because that's a dead end. What's nice about that mini map is I can actually see some of the dead ends now. That's awesome. That is super helpful. I'm glad they added the mini map, even in the dungeons. It's those little quality of life improvements that are that are helpful when you go back and play older games like this. Because it's hard for some people to play. Final Fantasy 1 with random enemy encounters every five steps, it, it can be a little infuriating. Um, so it's good to be able to see stuff like a dead end on that mini-map, or if you don't... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted by the trolls. That's a new monster for me, I gotta mark that off. If I remember... The, oh! That's actually pretty easy. Well, 23. Man, we are gaining lots of levels. Money bags! Achievement unlocked. Money bags. I don't think you guys are able to see that in the video, but anyways, it popped up on my end. <laughs> um, the Twitch overlay doesn't pick all that up, but I did just get another achievement, which I think was another gill one. That might have been the last gill one. So there are three treasure chests in here, and the beautiful thing about these treasure chests is I don't think there's any monsters guarding any of these chests. 
there shouldn't be anyway. Coral sword. Nope. Huh? Thief got a better sword. Again. See, there's so many swords you get in this game from the different treasure chests that I feel like getting a monk is like a waste. It's like all these treasure chests. Just like... I don't know. It just seems like a waste. There's so many different swords that are available to you in this in this game. Like the Rune Blade, the Falcon, the Coral Sword, Excalibur... It's the Murasame, and it's like when you when you choose to use a monk over a red mage or a thief, you're giving up all of those swords or making it to where only the warrior uses them. That's just weird to me. I feel like you're not I don't know. Getting the full potential out of the out of the game. You're not utilizing everything the developers kind of gave you. If the monk had more items, like like Final Fantasy VII, like someone like Tifa, where there's a bunch of different gloves you can get, I mean, then yeah, that makes sense. But there's like no gloves in this game. So there's no like with the monk, it's best just to leave it unequipped, which saves you some money, sure, but late game, all the best equipment you get from, are, are from the dungeons, so they don't cost you anything anyways. I don't know, I'm just... Oh, yeah. I think at the PlayStation Origins versions, there's nothing here. It's just, if one second you step on that spot, then there's a monster. This one, it just makes you fight. Yes. Sweet. This would be an easy fight. Boom. Easy. And then none of these should have monsters in them. Ooh, and a leather shield. I think this thief can actually equip that. No, no, the thief can't. I swear at some point the thief is able to equip a shield. And so are the mages, but it's not a shield. It's not called a shield. I think it's called something else, but they're able to equip it. I mentioned this in the first episode, but there was a cheat on the Game Boy Advance version and the play the PS or was it the PSP version? Where you could kinda hack in the knight's armor at the very beginning of the game, or any armor really into the mage's armor slots. Any of them. So they could have knight's armor like ooh, just in any single slot. Head, armor, hands, it didn't matter. Um, so that's it. That's all the treasure on this field. There's more spaces we could have explored on the left, but there's nothing over there. Just more dead ends, and you could even... You could probably see a little bit of that while we were in the treasure room down there. There's nothing there to be explored. Can you move, please? Thank you. So to get out, we go this way. And what's kind of disappointing about this cavern is we do have to go basically have to go through this twice and I, I hate that is one of my least favorite things in a Final Fantasy game is when I'm being forced to go through the same dungeon twice Final Fantasy 15 did that with the dungeon you go through the first time with RNA in your party and that bothered me so much because there was like three different occasions that you went to that same dungeon and it was so frustrating I can't even remember what, what it was for. Ooh. Dang, I didn't know you could have six of these guys on a screen. Six ogres? They were too big to put that many on the same screen. But yeah, Final Fantasy 15. Oh, I think the first time you go into that dungeon is because it's part of the story. Second time is because there's a hunt. And the third time is because there's a legendary item even further in. I want to say it's like Noctis's best sword or whatever, the ball mongo. I could be wrong, don't quote me on that one, but... That just pissed me off, going through the same dungeon that many times. 
It's just, I don't know. That, that to me is like a lazy move on the developer's part. We're trying to extend the game out a little bit. So here, go through this dungeon three times. That's, what, that's been one of my biggest struggles with Final Fantasy IV, the after years. Is that stupid cave in between... What's the name of the town? It's like one of the first towns in Final Fantasy IV where Rosa gets like desert fever or whatever and she's collapsed on one of the beds. Um, there's a cave in between that town and Damsian Castle. And I, you go through that thing so many times if you play Final Fantasy IV and the After Years. Because you go through it once in Final Fantasy IV. And then they make you go through it uh, over and over and over again in Final Fantasy IV. Like, everybody's story somehow runs through that stupid dungeon. And I've killed that octopus so many times, it's ridiculous. If I have to go through that dungeon one more time to beat that game... Oh my goodness. I really hope that's not the case. I will be upset. I think there was a monster in this chest as well. Earth Elemental again. We're just becoming good friends, you and us. She's gonna need a cure up after this fight. We would have hit first, Thief. We would have been good. So we got the gold needle there. I think that's the first gold needle we find inside a treasure chest because inside this cavern is the first time we come up against an enemy that can actually cause the stone status effect. Which, if your whole party gets stoned... Uh, you lose the game. It's like getting, it's like having everybody knocked out, basically. If you're unfamiliar with Final Fantasy, uh, getting stoned is. I mean, it's basically, uh, it's basically like being KO'd. You just use a different item to recover, and you don't lose all your hit points. So, yeah, obviously that's the big difference. Phoenix down actually brings you from zero hit points to uh, a specific amount. Whereas, uh, the other one does... Takes you, takes a stone status off your character. Okay, there was nothing else to the right, but I believe... There's another chest in here with a monster inside of it. And you'll never believe it. It's another Earth Elemental. I think I'm just gonna use a potion on him. Because a cure would have been a little too much. Oh, hey, there's no monster. Sweet. Oh, good for me. Another six ogres. Nice. They're pretty weak at this point. Ogres and ogre chiefs. Pretty simple fight. So, minus Zoe, our whole party is getting pretty low on hit points right now. This is another room that has absolutely no treasure chest. But I'm willing to go in there to prove it to you. Did he flee after I hit him? I hate that. Alright, yeah, there's nothing in here. Except for a monster. So we can get in a fight with this guy. No, oh, why not? It just bothers me that he's there, and he'll be gone after I kill him. That didn't cost us anything. Why not kill him? Why not? And this one has a treasure chest inside of it. Ooh. New jellies. I'm trying to think. them off my list. Ogre jellies. Okay. Mm. 
the red, so you'd think that the obvious answer would be Blizzard, but I don't know. Or nothing. Just kill them with swords. I guess that was the answer. Never mind. Carry on. You guys are doing great without the magic user. I think there's a monster in here. Yeah, another earth elemental. We just have a treasure chest with items in it. Thousand gil. Not bad. And now it is time for... Oh, Cockatrice. That is a new one, too. Take that one off my list. These guys can cause petrification stats, so it is smart that we kill them quickly. And of course they're attacking first, which is not what we want. So we can cause petrification status. There we go. We got him. Whew. Now that little bat right there will turn into our next boss fight. So let's... I mean... I'm just going to use heal. All of them. Why not? But I still got these bad boys for the fight. I should just use whatever. That works. Alright. Everybody's full health. We're doing good. Let's go ahead and kill this vampire. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken and so the earth shall rot. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. Warrior and Thief, attack, as always, and then we are going to do our best to keep our boy Owen alive, and we are going to, let's haste up our boy Clive. Yes! I love it when you get the haste or temper before they get a strike in. 48 damage. Boom! 246! One shot at him! Yes! He only got one hit in. That is the best thing about haste. And why the thief is, in my opinion, some people will disagree, but the thief, in my opinion, is superior. You guys just see that? Who killed the vampire almost in one hit? I'd be curious to see what the vampire's hit points are because my boy Clive just slayed. Perfect timing with that haste right beforehand. So, we don't even need a cure after that. That was perfect execution. You obtain the Star Ruby. So, we could go out this door to the right and up, but we wouldn't be able to get past the door. That is one thing that is frustrating about this dungeon is that we basically have to go through the whole thing again. Kind of. We have to go through half of the dungeon a second time. We can't get to the other floors that are further down because we don't have... I believe it's the Earth Rod. Which is fine. Which is fine. Go back. Get the knight's armor, probably. It'll be even stronger. Because we'll be killing all these monsters. Again. And hopefully we will finally... Bring light back to one of the four crystals. Although in the original NES version, they were... Orbs. And, I mean, they look like orbs, too. They were like little circles. But they kind of changed it to go with the rest of the... I mean, when they came out with the PS Origins version, that was probably a way to 
bring the game along with the rest of the Final Fantasy series and its focus on crystals. And I love that Final Fantasy 16 is also... I've, I've noticed... Uh, I love seeing those same thing, themes coming up again and again in the, in the Final Fantasy series. That they continue with the same uh, devices throughout. Sorry, I was trying to see if Healer would be the best thing to do there. And it was. I think that worked out nicely. It sucks we can't use teleport right now. That would be super useful with Owen. Our black mage and getting out of this dungeon. Or even... Uh, well, I think that was... Teleport, I think, is the black magic spell. And warp is the white magic spell. Uh, warp just completely gets us out of the dungeon. Whereas teleport... Which I think that's backwards in other Final Fantasy games. Which is weird that the white and black mage both have spells that help them get out of the dungeon a little easier. That's what a mage is there for. Quality of life improvements. They're supposed to make our journey all the easier. If you played this game before, you may not have realized there's actually five crystals in this game. There's more than just the four crystals. There is a fifth one. It's at the end of the game. Spoiler alert. I think there may even be six crystals, technically. There's at least five. I know that for sure. that he took. Yeah, I've, been, I've been excited about this pixel remaster ever since I heard about it, and I'm also super excited for Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier. I have been waiting on pins and needles for more information about that game, but it's been like radio silence since the beta test. I had a lot of fun in the beta version. And if I can, I plan on streaming that as soon as it comes out, too. I like that little arrow showing you. This is the way out. Close to the first crystal being relit, but so far. Just couldn't get past that door. Nope, we're gonna have to actually use an item this time. We got plenty of them, so we're good. Do we have anything yet that can cast any magic? Good spellcasters. Yeah. Nothing yet. Wait, that the thrill mail can't be put on anybody? Better evasion. But a lot lower defense. I can't have it either. Hmm. So we're gonna give this big boy a ruby. You have star ruby. Give me star ruby and I let you pass. I mean, 
mean, honestly, we're kind of OP at this point. Probably could have just killed this guy, but that's fine. Mmm. Nothing tastier than rubies. What? It just like went through a wall. It looks like there's a door down here with possibly some treasure. <laughs> of course, the person with the best evasion is the one that gets hit. Nice try. I feel kind of bad. <laughs> All of his homies were getting, like, murdered. And then he tried to make a break for it. That was not happening. Okay, hold on one second. Yeah, how 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 bad is the accuracy on this thing? Oh man, we'll keep it, but. Sure, we'll keep that great helmet, or that great axe equipped. Hey, Lesser Tiger, that is a new one. There's a couple new ones in this area that we haven't gotten yet that we need to get before we move on, but I'm just kind of waiting for us to randomly run. Hey, that's one of them, Hyena Don. We have not fought in the Hyena Don yet. And mark that one up. And the Hill Gigas, I'm not going out of my way to find that one. I know exactly where I can find that one in the Hall of Giants. So. Don't even have to look for that guy. If I don't find him by the time I get out of the Earth Cave, then I'll... I'll go down that hallway and pick a fight. But he also shows up in other parts of the game, too. I mean, the rarest monster... The one that's the most difficult to get to show up is War Mech in the Flying Fortress. I mean, honestly, your first time going through that dungeon, you don't want to run into War Mech. Here we are in the Sage's Cave. And none of these pots have anything. It's Final Fantasy 1, guys. There's nothing in the pots. Unfortunately, nothing. So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper than the cave. Here, take this with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. You obtained the earth rod. Restore the crystals to grace. May the grace of the gods go with you. Man, Final Fantasy XV was not a perfect game, but there are some things I miss about it and would love to play it again sometime soon. Even though I platinum all of it and every single DLC, it took, it took a little bit of time actually to do all that. Especially Comrades, because nobody plays that anymore. I don't even know if anybody played it when it first came out. <laughs> I actually enjoyed Comrade, so I thought it was, it was somewhat entertaining. Just the lobby for like hooking up with other players was kind of dumb. Okay, I'm gonna go back to town before we go back in that dungeon again. Just to rest up an inn by the knight's armor. And if anybody's curious, I don't know if anybody is, but if you are, why the wizard or the black mage can't learn teleport yet, it's because he needs a promotion first. Before he can learn that spell. All four of your warriors can 
get promoted by obtaining a certain item and talking to a certain NPC later on in the game. So we finally have enough for the knight's armor. Thanks. Equip that bad boy. Defense shoots up to 46. That's an extra 10 points to our defense. That's awesome. 